back. I'm going to keep this real simple. Your weekend reading Friday, November 4th through November 6th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you're new to my channel, you click like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. So welcome, everybody. Hi, everyone in the chat. I hope you guys are well. Go Phils! Um, yeah, so this is a Virgo channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So as always, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest, and let's get into this. So the first card popping out here, Deeply Loving Male. All right, so we've got some falling cards here. Deeply Loving Male or female on Friday, showing up. Luck is on your side, something's in your favor. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is the Wheel of Fortune. So something is turning around. Test of faith and boundaries in the reverse. Um, hmm. Negative thinking and emotional wish not being granted. Okay, so, hmm, okay. So you've got somebody here, I feel like, who is gonna try and test you over this weekend and I feel like you're gonna say no this person might be trying to um, manipulate or trying to get their needs met over the weekend and I feel like you're probably gonna say no or things are gonna turn around I don't know I feel like this person is hoping they're gonna get lucky with you okay it doesn't have to be a water sign there could be a reason something comes up that something can't happen but let me let me see here hold on a second now, hmm, okay, somebody's like feeling like um, has has faith because somebody's definitely coming out of isolation though, and they have faith that they'll be able to connect with you, okay? Um, but they're very, very greedy and they're looking for a quick result here, okay? This negative thinking makes me feel like this person also. Like, it's like they have faith, but they don't, they're not so sure that they have a chance or that there's going to be some type of um, come back around situation with you. But I do feel like somebody here on the weekend, I don't know if there's someone you're connected to or reconnecting to, but it feels like this person thinks that they have a shot with you. Okay, so you might get a call or you might get some kind of message from someone, um, you know, I feel like they're going to try and test you to see if there's like an opening to get in, to get in that door. Um, maybe you said no to someone and they're going to try again is what I feel like is going on here. Um, but they're not fully. It's So it's kind of like this person knows that you um, aren't going to say yes. You might have already told them no to something but they're they're just gonna keep trying i don't know if that's connected to yesterday's reading as well but it feels like on friday you're gonna be hearing from someone and um they're gonna try to shoot their shot <laughs> with you on friday try so expect some kind of message or phone call from someone now this deeply loving male which comes forward as male or female energy um deeply loving coming in the form of water sign so this person comes in as very empathetic tolerant nurturing healing supportive so they might come in with that energy okay uh, i don't i don't know if it's manipulative but i feel like they might try to just be like you know very supportive and and try, i'm just hearing like i don't know lull you to sleep or try to like uh, come in with like sweetness kindness that kind of thing okay so virgo keep your ears and eyes peeled for friday there's some type of um thing that's going to turn around here um be ready for this call or this message or this person coming in trying to um i mean i don't know how is this person like what's the deal with this person hold on a minute I mean, yeah, deeply loving. This person's like really into you. Let me see if I can get another message about what's what's going on with this person. Ooh, this person is not okay. Hitting rock bottom in the reverse. This person is not willing to give up. That's really what I feel like is going on here. Whoever they are, they're just going to keep trying. 
they, they keep trying for a new start. Try to recover what was lost here. Hoping you'll forgive them for something. Yeah, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. And they're just not going to quit. Okay, yeah. They keep waiting for an answer from you. Even if you gave them the answer, I guess to them, they're like, no, that's not the answer. I'm waiting for a yes. You know, <laughs> Virgo. I feel like if this person, you're going to hear from them and they're going to be sitting by the phone or checking their text, checking to see if you call, checking the voicemail. Some of you even have this person blocked. They may not know it um, and they're not going to quit. So you're going to hear from someone and they're going to be waiting to hear from you. They're not hitting rock bottom. They're not letting go of something here. You know, they want to connect with you. They, they believe in a lot of ways with the negative thinking that that's not going to happen or that you don't want them or something. They're not going to get their needs met, but they're going to try. Okay. I feel like this person, they're very greedy and they're looking for that quick. They're looking for you to respond quickly, to answer them, you know, to say yes. Okay. Friday looks like something. Friday looks like something. All right, let's take a look at Saturday. Okay, the struggle is over in the reverse. So Saturday is an energy of something. There's a, there's a break. Uh, I feel like for some of you, this is finally saying no. Freedom. Okay. So Saturday is like you not having to deal with something. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here for Friday. Oh, Saturday. Saturday, November 5th. Okay, learning a new skill, standing your ground, material wish not being granted. Oh, but a lack of fear of anxiety. So that's good. All right. Um, so I feel like Saturday, it's, I mean, I, <sighs> I feel like Saturday, you're you're kind of in this position here where you're, you're taking some kind of a break. Okay, you're learning something new. You're standing your ground with something on Saturday. Um, you may not be getting um, some type of material thing, and I feel like that's taking the pressure off. It's going to take the pressure off you, and you're going to try something else on Saturday. Okay, because I feel like a lot of you, it's kind of like waiting to get answers about like, did you hit the lottery? Are you getting that pay raise? Is that job coming through Saturday? I don't feel like you're going to get any answer about anything. I feel like you're just laying it to rest, whatever this is. This learning a new skill type of energy is kind of like, all right, maybe you got to do something else. Are you going to try to do something else? And you stand up for yourself. You're not going to get that thing. So I feel like this is plan B for you. I feel like you're in like, okay, I don't know if that's going to work out. So I'm going to devise plan B to see. And that, that takes the pressure off because I feel like a lot of you are kind of focused on this one thing, one thing, and you're not hearing something else. And then if that doesn't work out, like you've got nothing. I feel like a lot of you, I'm not exactly sure what this pertains to, but a lot of you are, I feel like you're going to sit down on Saturday and devise a plan B. Let me see what else. Okay. All right. Spending time with good friends, committed love relationship. Wow. All right. So as far as love goes, for some of you, this could be kind of like, you know, if it's connected to Friday, I feel like a lot of you are like telling somebody no, that's going to reach out to you on Friday and just kind of be like, oh, you know what? I'm taking a break from this. I've spent time with my friends. You're looking for a committed love relationship, but not with just anyone. And some of you might have had your hopes that somebody was going to come into your life and somebody shows up and that's not the one that you want showing up. Or you just put your phone on do not disturb and go spend time with your friends on Saturday doing something. You might connect with someone where there it could be also somebody in your friend group that um, is looking for a committed love relationship and there might be some kind of an attraction that happens also uh, among your among your close and good friends okay so that kind of energy is like two different messages but i feel like if you're hoping for like one particular person and this person's coming in who's chasing you but is not hasn't doesn't have any follow-through I feel like you're going to like on Saturday, 
you're not going to answer this person. And I feel like on Saturday, you're just going to ignore and spend time with your friends and do something else that you're doing for yourself. Like I said, devising a plan B or doing something else for yourself, distract or um, go out with your friends and you might actually come across somebody else. You're looking, you're, you're still in a position of wanting to have someone who's right for you, not just someone who, you know, uh, might be emotionally manipulative okay so yeah saturday i just see like putting your phone taking your phone off the hook and going spending time with friends and family and other people and lessening your fears and your anxieties okay because I, I don't know i just feel like there's someone on friday that's trying to hook up and they don't want anything else they're just trying to get that hook up so, what do you have for Sunday? Okay, well, basically the sun's in the reverse on Sunday a little bit, so maybe it's going to rain on Sunday where you are. All right, even the sun in a reading, whether it's reverse or, or um, upright, is still a good card. It's just kind of like equivalent to dawn and dusk, okay? Maybe somebody's name is dawn. So, the sun in reverse is kind of like... It's, it's not horrific, you know, it's, it's not like, it's not horrific. It's just an energy of like, delay, okay? Or waiting, or just like um, a temporary, maybe depression for some, or just being very melancholy, um, delayed gratification, okay? A lustful, fiery spirit. Oh my goodness. You've got some kind of player hover, uh, hovering around you over the weekend. A lustful, fiery spirit in reverse. So that's the Knight of Wands in the reverse. This person is just like a chaotic sexual excess. Someone who's very impulsive. Pushing somebody off because you have a big financial decision. Somebody spying on you. Okay. Wow, you find out, oh my gosh, you find out over this, on Sunday especially, that somebody, somebody gets caught spying on you or gets caught looking you up online, okay? Like the truth comes out, maybe you catch them. I feel like either you catch them or somebody else catches them. What is this financial decision is in the middle though? Let me see here. <gasps> okay, no contact. Some of you find out somebody gets into like your bank account. Um, I don't know if you had a connection with this lust, this, this uh, Knight of Wands energy. Or someone um, that you might have a connection with on Sunday. There's some kind of connection with your money to this person. And they're looking, they get caught or something gets found out that they're like sneaking in or they hacked into some kind of an account of yours. Um, they're looking at your money, looking how you're spending your money. That Knight of Wands in the reverse is very chaotic. That person, um, not violent, but they're very impulsive. But you, um, I feel like with that sun in reverse, that, that might be a little bit delayed. So I feel like you're really not going to find this out until late Sunday evening. Somehow you come across it or you see some strange logins into, it could be a social media account. It could be somebody's looking at, you know, your money. I don't know if there's money owed. It's strange, but you're not in contact with this person. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Like, I don't know about, look, Saturday looks great. Saturday's like, nope, put my phone down, I'm going out and having a good time, relaxing with friends, family, uh, meeting other people, being open to somebody who could be um, in your life. Okay, Hi highly logical male in the reverse. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. So, okay, this is the King of Swords in the reverse, male or female energy. Now, when I said I didn't think that this person was violent, then they give me this violent person. 
this person not so much violent but very cold dishonest this person very unkind i don't know if this person is like kind of put on a front but who they are underneath i just feel like you see some truth you get some clarity on sunday about someone who you thought that they were before is really not who they are they're kind of like they've been lying and, and you find out some truth about somebody it could be a friend or a family member the truth gets revealed some of you might even get a message in your dreams about someone here on sunday sunday night comes like delayed that could be the delay like it's not direct it's indirect oh my gosh virgo your weekend is like full of drama let me get a couple of um island time cards okay healing heart and mirror healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction and then um Mirroring each other, self-image relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. Okay. So I definitely feel like you're spending a little bit of time over the weekend. Also, like you're get you're trying to get away from some kind of toxic situation, relationship, or addiction. Taking a look at yourself, your self-image. Um, doing a lot of introspection as well. Healthy choices, yeah, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Um, I don't know, you got someone who's just kind of like coming in on Friday and then you're just, you're, so the overall message I'm getting for the entire weekend is Friday starts off with someone's trying to connect with you and they are really like trying to to connect in some way, get a response from you. Saturday, I just kind of feel like you're like, nope, you're not talking to somebody, you're not communicating, you're staying away. And then Sunday, there's backlash, like a little bit of backlash because of that. Okay, Sunday is like someone is not taking, they want to know, I don't know if somebody's very jealous or obsessive or possessive energy, breaking into your stuff to see what you're doing, who you're spending money on, what you're like, who you're talking to. And I feel like some of you may not realize until Sunday, the true colors of someone here, true colors. So we have air, we have fire and water. Okay. Let's see what else. Drama. Okay. Someone you might've thought was your soulmate soul contract turns to no contact okay or this is someone you're not in contact with like i said earlier on friday maybe you blocked somebody they don't know they're blocked and then you find out they're trying to like get get unblocked somehow oh my goodness there's so much drama okay there's the axe breakup separation stopping the pattern silent treatment abandonment yeah i feel like you're gonna put the full kibosh and axe a situation 100 percent on um sunday it's like oh my gosh now i see now i see there's just a very possessive energy let's see what your love messages for you are Okay, release. Radical acceptance surrender can help you let go. So uh, Sunday is like, okay, Sunday your energy is like, you see what's going on here now and you're like fully releasing, like changing all your passwords, doing everything you need to do because it just comes forward on Sunday. I really feel like someone's trying to get into your shit and you make some kind of radical move to you have to block even further, I feel like. What the heck? Virgo, why do you have so much drama in your life? Apology. Yeah, somebody's going to come in and apologize to you also over the weekend. Is it true? I don't know. Is it real? I don't know. Maybe. But I tell you what, if somebody apologizes and you don't accept their apology and then they act like that, I wouldn't say that's true. Remember I was saying in the beginning, somebody's going to come in with real kind sweetness, you know, thinking that they're going to be able, like part of them knows that you're not going to accept it, but they still think that they have a shot. Okay. It is safe to trust in this situation. You can trust that somebody's like 
not who they say they are. I regret someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Marriage, a situation, a relationship moving towards a sacred union. Maybe they think that. I don't think you think that. Maybe there'll be somebody else new you might meet, and that can move towards a sacred union. But I don't know about whoever this person is, twin flame. <laughs> Go figure. Twin flame, marriage, regret, apology, like Virgo. I mean, come on. Is it your twin flame? in separation or someone who's given, going to give you a hard time over the weekend. The struggle, the twin flame struggle. Lessons always being learned in those connections. Let me see. I just feel like somebody's spying on you online. So listen, you can tell me that you're blocked or you're not online. Somebody's looking anyway. They're searching. They're going to find stuff out on you. If you listen, if you have, if you've been on the internet, trust me when I tell you, you have a fingerprint still on the internet. Your footprint is there and it's past. And it takes a long time for that stuff to like fizzle out. So even if you just, you've deleted stuff or whatever, you still have a footprint somewhere on the web and they're looking for anything they, they could get you can block somebody all you want they make fake accounts they try to uh they call from fake phone numbers like there's no way around it <laughs> you're just gonna have to just you know but if somebody's getting into your bank account and stuff like that you got to change passwords okay different pages you and this person do not share the same vision i feel like that's what's going on here Somebody's just obsessed with you. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Keep it going. Keep it moving, Virgo. Keep doing what you need to do. Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So you keep on healing, Virgo. You know what, you guys? I believe coming up there's going to be another lunar eclipse. So I'm going to do a lunar eclipse reading. Um, we also have daylight savings on uh, November 6th on Sunday. That could be something to do with the delay as well. All right, let me see these Chinese signs. Okay, Year of the Dragon. Oh, Year of the Goat. That was sitting up, right? Year of the Horse. <clears throat> Excuse me, Year of the Snake. Year of the Pig, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Dragon again, Year of the Goat again. Mm, did I say Rabbit? There's Year of the Rabbit. One more. Year of the Ox. Let me get two more. Um, I said Pig. I said Horse. One, two, three, that's eight. All right, Year of the Rooster. And the tiger. So again, that could be you. That could be this person. Um, it could be none of you. Take it with a grain of salt. All right, let me see. I just want to get a moon message for you guys, and then I'm going to cut it short. And hopefully the Phillies win game five tonight. I'm so hopeful. I know some of you might be Astros fans. And uh, all respect to you guys. Well played. You deserve a win as well. But Phillies deserve it first. <laughs> all right, let me see. Oh, and then we have the World Cup. That game's coming up. All right, let's see. What is Virgo's moon message for the weekend? Virgo's overall moon message for the weekend. All right, step out of your comfort zone, Virgo. Mm. Yeah, you got to do something radical, something like completely um, out of your comfort zone, something that you don't normally do over the weekend don't stay tethered and tied to a narrative or a certain way of doing things or seeing things or just believing something something's going to come to light here and things are going to be revealed especially at the end of the weekend where you're going to know like you got to do something radical now because of some situation here it's not really a warning i feel like a lot of you are like oh i know exactly what you're talking about i just feel like this is kind of 
something comes to light. Some of you are just not trying to deal with something and you're just trying to be free and keep yourself in like good positive vibes. And you are, but I also feel like it might put a damper on things when you feel like, oh, you got to deal with something again. Okay. So I'm going to leave your, your reading there. I hope that was helpful. A little bit informative. Hopefully none of this comes true for you guys and you just have a, ma a marvelous weekend and you just have a lot of fun and you relax as well. But for those of you where you're like, oh, damn. Take care of business. Do what you got to do. All right, you guys. I will see you all on Sunday. I'll be back here with your singles reading. I love you guys. So Have a great weekend. Bye. And sometimes you just got to believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken. It's tragic. We're not all elastic. But maybe there's magic.